let us discuss types of isolated singularities. See, in this video, we are going to cover only one type of isolated singularities that is pole of order M. So, this definition we have defined, okay, this concept we have defined with the help of Lorentz series expansion. So, in previous videos, we have already seen how to find Lorentz series expansion. So, f of z be a function and we are finding a Lorentz series expansion at z is equal to z naught, then that, that Lorentz series will have two parts. The first part we call it as analytic part and the second part we call it as a principal part. In analytic part that bracket z minus z naught lies in the numerator and in the principal part that bracket z minus z naught lies in denominator. So suppose any function has a Lorentz series expansion at z is equal to z naught like this and in a principal part of that it has only finite number of terms. That means up to bm we have a terms and after that for all remaining coefficients are 0 then that z0 is said to be pole of order m getting so that means in the analytic part it may have many terms infinite terms but in the principal part it has finite number of terms so whatever that term finishes at m that bracket has power z minus z0 raised to m so therefore we say m uh, is a order of that Pole. So, z is equal to z0 is a pole of order m. Let us discuss one example. So, your concept will be clear. You can make a screenshot of it. After that, we will go further. Let us discuss this example. So, in this example, we have a function hyperbolic sin z raised to z raised to 4 as you can see here. What is the singular point? If I put z is equal to 0, then denominator will be 0. So, z is equal to 0 is a singular point. So, it is a pole of order something that order we need to find here. Let us see how to solve the problem. What will I do? I will write this as 1 upon z raised to 4 into hyperbolic sin z. So, we are familiar with this expansion of hyperbolic sin z. Let us use it here. So, this is equal to 1 upon z raised to 4 z plus z cube by 3 factorial plus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial plus z raised to 7 by 7 factorial and so on. So, the series I use. After that, what will we do? We will multiply each term by this 1 upon z raised to 4. So, what will happen? Zz will get cancelled. So, 1 upon z cube we have. If you multiply the second term by this 1 upon z raised to 4, z cube, z cube cancel 1 upon 3 factorial z plus what will happen for this? z upon 5 factorial. If you multiply this term by this one, so z cube upon 7 factorial and so on. As you can easily see, for first two terms, z lies in denominator, but for remaining terms that z and its power lies in numerator. So, this is analytic part of a Lorentz series and this is principal part of a Lorentz series. In a principal part, there are only two terms and what is the largest power of z? That is 3. So, therefore, we can declare z is equal to 0 is a pole of order 3. So, in this way, with the help of Lorentz series, we can find the pole of order m. Get it? If you have any singularities, we can find its order. Okay. So, make a screenshot of it. After that, we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.